क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स and in previous videos we have studied uh, different properties of uh, roc of laplace transform as well as in one more video we have studied the definition of uh, roc and after that we have studied the, the types of rocs now we will solve a numericals and that numerical is completely based on roc basically in exams they will always ask you the same question a simple question to determine the laplace transform given signal or a function as well as also determine their roc so i have taken one simple example so that you can understand the concept of roc and what is the logic is placed behind that roc so the question is the problem number 1 is determine the laplace transform of the signal whereas this one is a signal and their roc now the question is x of t e to the power minus 3t u of t now if we have only e to the power minus 3t if u of t is not there then e to the power minus 3t will produce infinite result as i told you in roc case we will always multiply in e to the power 3 or any function with some inputs so that that function can be completely transformed into right hand side or can be completely transformed on left hand side so right now this e to the power minus 3t is multiplied with u to u of t now we'll find out this solution what will be the region of this function we'll find out let's see the solution x of t is given it e to the power minus 3t u of t. now we will find out the solution according to definition of laplace transform this time signal can be transformed into laplace domain so laplace we are going to apply laplace on x of t this laplace transform this x of t can be transformed into laplace domain and it is represented by x of s and the definition is minus infinity to infinity x of t e to the power minus st dt now i will substitute x of t value which is e to the power minus 3t u of t now basically what do you mean by u of t u of t is the unit step input and this unit step input is only available from 0 to infinity and for left hand side the result of unit step is zero i'll show you unit step function only available when t is greater than equals to zero and having amplitude one this one is mentioned because this function is considered as unit step now and for t is less than zero the amplitude of unit step is zero now this input will change the limits i have as i told you in previous videos also inputs always multiplied with given function only to change the limit of integrations now we'll place we'll substitute the values of unit step because this unit step is integrable only the range is 0 to infinity if the range is 0 to infinity and for less than 0 the function is produce will produce zero result so that's why this function is transformed or you can say this function is integrated over the range from 0 to infinity where unit step is replaced by its input 1 i'll write e to the power minus 3t into 1 into e to the power minus st dt and you can write plus 0 because in next period unit step value is 0 and 0 into anything is result is 0 now we will solve this part now after multiplying one we have this type of equation inside this integration now we know that if the bases are same then power always gets added now after adding you can say that you can take minus t common from both the sides so the s and 3 will have a positive sign so the result is e to the power minus t s plus 3 as the bases are same then powers always get added and i have taken minus t in common so inside we have s plus 3 and this to be this 
a whole exponential term will be integrated with respect to time t now we know that right now i'm going to take the integration now we know that integration of exponential is always the whole exponential term divided by the constant term which is present on its power now in exponential term the constant part present on numerator is minus of s plus 3 so after taking integration what you will get we have e to the power minus t inside we will write s plus 3 whole divided by now look at here this whole integration depends on time t so that this which means this t is variable now here minus s plus 3 is the constant whereas t is the variable so minus s plus 3 will be divided will divide the exponential part and the limit is 0 to infinity now we will substitute upper limit first and then lower limit so i'll substitute upper limit my infinity now t is replaced by infinity we have to substitute the value we have to substitute infinity value where the variable is placed so this t will be replaced by infinity what you will get infinity into s plus 3 will be infinity and minus will be multiplied with infinity so we'll have e to the power minus infinity now we'll substitute lower limit minus lower limit t is replaced by 0 so 0 into anything is answer is 0 so we'll write here 0 upon minus of s plus 3 now we know that e to the power minus infinity is always 0 minus e to the power 0 is always 1 so we have minus of s plus 3 now you can say that if i open this bracket the minus minus sign gets cancelled so x of s answer is 1 upon s plus 3 now we will find out the roc of this function or roc of this x of s now the x of s value is 1 upon s plus 3 now look at it we'll find out the location of this pole first so equate this term we equal to 0 so s plus 3 equal to 0 what you will get s equals to minus 3 which means this is the location of pole so i'll mark the location first now this pole value is minus 3 which means this pole is present on left hand side now well what you have you have got a finite result now you have a finite result but what is the basically region of convergence whether this minus 3 is transformed into laplace domain when the region is 0 to infinity or when the region is minus infinity 0 first of all what is important this function is transformed into a laplace domain when the limit was selected by unit step function and that limit is 0 to infinity which means this function can produce this x of s is can produce a finite result when the re region is 0 to infinity and that 0 to infinity will gives us the region of convergence of this type of x of s so now we know that the function is a right handed signal according to properties what what we have discussed if we have a pole and the ROC of this X of S is right handed side which means the ROC always present on the right hand side of that pole. I will repeat here the function X of S is finite because of unit step function and unit step function is available the limit of unit step function is 0 to infinity. Now due to that limit this function x of s we have a finite result or this x of s is produced we will get the finite result now because of finite result you can say that this x, x of t can be transformed into laplace and what is the roc that roc is you can obtain that roc value or region value from unit state function that unit state function is available from 0 to infinity now according to properties here it is already discussed the function is transformed into Laplace domain and the function is a right handed signal reason is unit step a unit step available between 0 to infinity but according to properties if the function is a right handed signal then the ROC for given pole is always a right hand side of that pole so this is the pole and the right hand side of this pole is 
this is the right hand side of this pole so you can mark the simple parallel lines this is the roc of and this region is the roc of x of s i'll repeat if the fun this function is transformed because the unit step is multiplied with e to the power minus 3t now unit step function limit is important Be reason is because of unit step we have got a finite result so the region of unit step is nothing but the region of roc or the region of convergence so this function this x of s is finite because of unit shape and unit shape region is 0 to infinity. So, 0 to infinity is the right handed side of s plane. So, you can see that this function is a right handed signal. Now, the much more important according to property, if the function is a right handed signal and this pole is present on any side of this s plane, then the ROC is always marked from right hand side of that pole. So, this is the pole and we have marked this ROC from right hand side of this pole. So, this is the ROC of the X of S. Here, the real part of S is minus 3. So, according to ROC, ROC is always marked which is greater than minus 3. So, this is how we are going to represent the ROC. ROC is always greater than the real part of pole which is a minus 3. So, similar questions we are going to solve in next videos also. So, stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.